Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. What a way to start us off. Welcome everyone, Poi is here, to a brand new episode, a brand new Let's Play. It's Halloween and it's time for a little bit of insanity. Welcome to Eternal Darkness. I have fond memories of playing this game in college, and no, I'm not so old as to have been in college in 2002. My roommate played it. Um, he would tend to play it, and I would, you know, pretend to be doing homework and instead be watching him play it, because it's a fun game to watch, as, as I'm sure it is to play, but I have actually never played this game. I am looking forward to the experience. I uh, figured... Given my schedule, I have time to fit this in and make this the dominant Let's Play. Let's go ahead and... The premise of the game, as I said, it's an older GameCube game with uh, is a psychological thriller. I, I wouldn't necessarily call it a horror game because I didn't find it that scary and to be honest, I scare kind of easily. But there's definitely high tension, elements of eldritch horror, and the, you know, lots of undead. The thing that got me into it was seeing that one of the, the main, one of the main characters is that awesome looking zombie Roman dude. Yeah, I mean, what's not to love about Romans? So we're just gonna... I've actually never seen this. Again, with my roommate playing, I never got to see the opening thing, or the, op the opening teaser crawl. I have to wonder how many people watch these things, actually. Certainly not frequently after they first boot up the game. This is the sort of thing that people just don't tend to care about. It's like, I want to play my game! Give me a game! Here we go. It's titled Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. And... Let's get started, shall we? I've... Do, unfortunately, I, I don't have a GameCube controller that is USB compatible, so I had to map my uh, Logitech controller to uh, copy it. Flesh. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. What are we looking at right there? I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. Well, good luck with that. This is not my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, Believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless. Their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path, and they didn't take oh, kindly well, to it. what just happened there? Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line, and the last hope for humanity. Hopefully that is what's going on here. If that keeps happening, I'm going to have to cancel this Let's Play. I shoot. Oh. That's trigger. Okay. That's oh, trigger. I'm out of ammo. Oh, what? Where is it? The D button. Um. Oh. I was supposed to fail. Obi-Wan? 
Oh, good. Lucky threes. Hello? Miss Alexandra Roybus? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. We probably should have waited to know what he was saying. You, you never, you never know. There's just been an oh, grandpa moment. Ah, Miss Roybus, oh, I'm God. pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip. Um, Love the yes, 2002 so animation. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. I'm afraid there's not much to see. Then why is it not pleasant? <laughs> she had to fly out there, so you left this the body there for that long? Is that your grandfather, I can t Edward? Yes, it's him. Like, He's wearing our family ring. I can tell you from unpleasant personal experience that the autopsy will not wait that long. I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. Oh, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Well, it's, you didn't uh, do an autopsy. Not a single clue. Well, you better find out who did this. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Two weeks later. Two weeks later. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated by, at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion. The place where... Why are my... Why is none of my buttons working? Oh, there we go. It's tied to the... the not the directional pad, but the analog stick. The place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie... Oh, sorry. This is my father. Tied to his past and possibility of tied to his murder, it would be here. E. Aha! Fisticuffs it is! Can I run? No, I can sneak. What is that? You can dance if you want to. Leave your friends behind. Open sesame. Aha! Um, uh, it looks like I need a gladius. Oh. Hello? Ah, uh, it's a J.J. Abrams film, I see. We got some lens flare. So this game, you will find, is well known for its unique methods of depicting insanity. <clears throat> I'm not going to spoil it because it's discovering it for myself the first time was pretty great. Oh, what's over here? Some, a spot of tea. Examine. Aha! Um, symbols. There, we've seen that purple symbol already. All right. Nothing in there. Let's try upstairs. You know. That's how I go through mazes, is I take every left turn I possibly can. Uh, but then again, we should actually check all the downstairs first. 
What time is that? It's 3.33. Again? Uh, beautiful carriage clock. The hands appear to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick. The time per permanently set to 3.33. There's a key in the back of the clock, presumably for winding it. Should Alex look at the key? Yeah, sure. Picks up the dresser clock, pulls the key from it. However, there's something odd about the key. It isn't for winding it at all. It looks like a dresser key. Da 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 da. There we go. Oh, that's what a dresser key looks like. Old style adventure games. So let's back here. Uh, can I examine the picture? You look dapper. All right. So, if I don't have too many more visual problems with the video. Uh, then I will continue to upload this, hey buddy, uh, three times a week with the other videos being, you know, the other series split between the remaining two days. Door is locked. Maybe Friday will be a flex day or something. But, you know, I want to get at least most of this done through October. Oh, let's see. Is that a nice study? Little do we know, those books are probably just painted on. Is a tree. A hangman's tree. Uh, this totally looks like a secret elevator. Jump for it, Alex. Jump for it. What's over here? And we're back. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, it's just a tutorial. Oh, hey, the map. Cool. Is that thing blinking at me? I don't, I don't like that. Precision of flesh and bone. Oh, the, oh, the procession. Death in the... Oh, okay. I like when games do this. Oh, the eyeball tells me what page I'm on. I like when games give you the... Uh... Anyway. All right. I thought I had something to say. Oh, oh, there we go. These books contain the history of the Roivas family, genealogy, birth, and death records, deeds and writs, and the Roivas history is a troubled one. As Mediterranean immigrants, the early Roivai, Roivas were shunned by other settlers in North America, suspected of witchcraft. The Roivas were convicted during the witch hunts, forcing them into hiding. As memories faded, the Roivas rebuilt their lives. Oh, no. I like these fixed perspective games, for the most part, because they they really do force some kind of tension. What is bad? Oh no, it's moving. Okay, we're safe. It, I just wish I could run, or you know, power walk. Um, examine. Detail. Books in this corner seem to focus on the supernatural. The po writings of Poe, Lovecraft, and the poetry of Blake. The art of Bosch. I'm not familiar with Bosch or Blake, honestly. Everything with a tie to ethereal horror or fantasy. It is all here, a reference library to the arcane. Was this Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? Ram him! Ram Cthulhu! This clock also a uh, slight draft can be felt issuing from beneath the bookshelf as though a vent or empty space is behind it. Move it! Move! Uh, yeah. The time is now almost midnight. Looming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on this empty room with an almost imp with an almost patriarchal air. Use the uh, control or the the directional not the directional pad the joystick to adjust the clock hands. Yeah, sure, let's adjust it to 333. Exit. Exit. Uh, Alright, what am I looking at here? Detail? No? Maybe I need to do this. Can I get it? Oh, 
I love how her head tilts like that. Uh huh. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm sure there is some sort of puzzle here. Anything here? No. Um. So, here's how. For if we do get caught, if I, you know, I'm not. But I tried that. Also, I was just about to talk about uh. About yeah. No, I got that. Please stop. That actually spooked me a bit. Uh, sorry. I'm having trouble with the controls here. Yes. Uh, this is not quite 333. Shut up! So anyway, clues, hints, tips. Uh, if I am stuck on a level, one, two, three. Examine. Mm-hmm. Then please, I mean, give me tips, but I don't want to like have the game spoiled for me. That is 333, right? Yes, I'm, I'm, I caught the motif already. All right, well, we'll meander back to that later. Now, I'm pretty sure that that's... I, I'm missing something. Oh, here's another thing. Oh, an observatorium. Crank socket is mounted in the telescope and appears to be linked to a mirror supported by a brass pedestal. Curious contraption to be sure, but what purpose can it possibly serve? Should Alex adjust the mirror? Oh, yeah, sure. See any mirror being adjusted. All right, let's get in my nerves. Oh, there's another one. Okay. What is this telling me? Notes, secrets, help. Um, maybe I can actually look into the telescope now. No, examine detail. Obviously, an antique, the telescope stands a testament to Edward's eclectic tastes. Its lens eye stares emptily at the ceiling as if awaiting future use. That's uh, splendid. Alright, well, I'm sure that I will figure this out in the near future. Just waiting for the Zambos to attack. We already go down here, and yeah, this is locked. But the clock said 3.33, so everything should be open to me now. Alright, well, let's try upstairs. You don't look happy at all. 
portraits of ancestral Roivus lined the foyered walls. Their faces reveal a dark, brooding edge. There is something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. Mm hmm. Oh, man. I think I've seen you before. Okay. Well. Do I need, I need to find the, uh, what, what is it? Uh, the, oh, I have a second floor key already. Oh, what am I doing? Please tell me I don't have to, it's not auto use. Use. The key comes apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there's a way of repairing it? Oh, man. Alright. Seriously, guys, if you're going to keep whispering in my ear... Uh, I actually really got nothing for that. What is that? Gladius. Hey, what's... I don't know. Is that a refrigerator? I'm hungry. Well, that was productive. Grand Piano stand, uh, stands here awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, Everett never really lived up to that description. And as such, it fell to disuse. Alright, well. That's unfortunate. Okay, nothing here. Illustrations feature a collection of strange line designs fitting to each other in a cyclical manner. There appears to be some sort of evidence, significance to it, but it isn't evident. Table set for one. Alright. Well, 20 minutes in and I'm already lost. Uh, we're gonna... Take a oh, is that a door over there? No. Let's try it here real quick. Wait. Warm glow of candlelight, the Roy family tree hangs from the wall. Shadows flitted across the surface, obscuring detail. But it looks cool. If one looks closely, the fit closely. Wow, I can't read today. The secrets are revealed. I got it. I feel like this puzzle shouldn't be that difficult. It's set to three thirty-three already. I mean, I can read a clock. You know what? We are going to save. I am going to call it a video. And we'll be back for next time. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. This has been Polius playing... Uh, Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. I'll see you all next time.